As you know, I love New York. It's in my bones. And the passage of the end-of-year fiscal packages, the long-term transportation bill, both represent a pivot point away from an era of dysfunction and gridlock, whose peak was a three-week government shutdown, and towards a more rational budgeting. The transportation bill was a real bonanza for New York. We got a, we got a five-year bill, 8% increase in funding, um, uh, in transit funding, 5% in highway funding. So that's going to be very, very good for our subways and for uh, our roads and road repair, the Gateway Tunnel. If we don't build two tunnels under the Hudson River and the existing tunnels collapse, as is very, very possible in the next seven to ten years, we will cause certainly a regional recession and probably a national recession. So we put together a development corporation uh, under the Port Authority that's composed of New York State, New Jersey, and the federal government and Amtrak. You know, you talked about the sea change, uh, and, but obviously uh, the change in terms of leadership in the House and with Paul Ryan, um, how, how key was that and what is your relationship with, uh, with, okay, with the good. speaker? Okay, yeah. Ryan is the kind of person who is not an ideologue who says it's my way or no way. He realizes that you have to sit down and compromise and negotiate, and that's why we're legislators. I like him very much.